This animation is part of a student project about boxing. I'm pretty sure the deadline is looming, probably just a few days. So let's have a look at it and let's see what we can improve in just a few days. First of all, thank you very much, Ross, for sending this over. Let's have a look at the animation once more. What really works well, in my opinion, is the three different hits that are hitting the blue guy. In terms of timing, they are very clear. In terms of priorities, I think what you need to prioritize in here is the cleaning of the silhouette at the beginning, and we will talk about that soon. The cleaning of the silhouette for the last hit, which is not clean at all. And then you have to figure out the physics of the blue guy as it goes to the back and mysteriously come forward. And it does it in two instances and is about to fall, but then mysteriously recover. So these are the main issues you have. And then a bit more physicality on the way down there. Those are the things I would probably fix. In terms of the red guy, I would try to fix the poses in terms of physicality for the last hit and try to create a set of poses they're a bit more dynamic, see that? Because right now they're not particularly dynamic. If I were you, I would try to have the focus of the head of the blue of the red guy on the blue guy at all times. After all, he's winning because of his superior techniques, I suppose. Techniques are based also on observation, so you need to keep that observation going. Unless, of course, the style of the of the short is that the chest and the head move one to one. But in this case, I'm not sure that's the case because in here they do not move one to one. The head is focusing on the character. So you really got to decide what's the style of the shot. If they're puppets, the head move mostly with the chest. If they're not, it moves independently. For the blue guy, I would expect a bit more of waving in the body, a bit more of limpness in the body as it's hit, because right now it's a bit stiff. So a bit more, you see the head acting a bit like a pendulum, a bell. That's what I would like to see there. For the most part, the action is clear. So let's get down to the details on how to improve this shot. The, the first hit of the red guy would be a lot more effective if you separated the two silhouettes a bit more. So if we had the red guy a bit further to the back and maybe with the legs, with the right leg showing a bit more of the knee in the silhouette, then you would have a bit more of a clear silhouette in here with the fist and you could start hitting outside the silhouette of the blue guy. Right now the problem that you're encountering is that you start the scene and your silhouettes are unclear. You see one frame in and we don't see, we don't know what's going on in there. So as an audience you will see much less what's going on. It will be very confusing. If you started a bit clear of the blue guy, probably even further now, now that I drew this thing, I'm thinking probably if you started with the fist in here, the left one, then you would have a straight line, you would cross some space without any impediment to the silhouette and the hit will be a lot more readable. Faces read a lot better when you see both eyes. Even if it's a profile shot, you want to see both eyes. So you will find that in animation very often a profile shot is indeed a three quarter shot masked as a profile shot. The blue guy at the beginning is completely passive. I will start with a pose that is with the head a bit I will use the red in here. I will start with a pose which is a bit further forward for the head so that as you are hit, you can roll the head back quite a lot more. You will feel the hit a lot more. And I would expect the hit to hit the face, but that wouldn't be enough in itself to lift the left foot. I think the left foot should be there for maybe one frame longer on the floor. And once you start being unbalanced like you are in here now, that your center of gravity is being pushed in this direction, that's when you would lift and you would probably lift toe first or heel first, you have to decide, but you wouldn't lift parallel to the floor in my opinion. In here, I would probably go even further back to be honest with the with the character. I think it would it would give you a, a much more contrasting pose. If you have a line of action like this with the body, for instance, so this would be the banana curve that you have in there. Now, if you check the contrast between the two poses, let's have a look at them. You see you have a lot of a stronger hit in there and then you lift the foot and you want to touch with the foot a bit further to the back tip first probably that way so that you can then recoil because in here technically you're down i mean this body is flying down this way there's nothing to stop it magically it just recoils it's rather unbelievable as an audience i find it really hard to believe but if i had the left leg lifting up a bit later so the left leg would be still down there flat on the floor then once the body is pushed so much to the back that left leg lifts up and quickly reaches to the back and one frame later we have a full contact 
there. Now that leg might be enough, I'd say, to push you back in line where you were supposed to be. Also, as you fall back, you probably want to extend the arms a little bit more just to make sure that you don't fall to the back so you counterbalance. Because right now, the only reason why you can counterbalance is because you're rotating an invisible control, which is probably here. You're rotating it back. So you're counterbalancing because you read the script, not because physics allows you to do that. That's a bit of a shame because if you fix that from a physical standpoint, the animation would look a lot better. Have a look into that. Now let's have a look at the red guy again, now that we fixed the reaction of the blue guy. So the red guy is lifting the right foot here when the weight is still on that right foot. That cannot be again. So before lifting a foot, you need to move the weight onto the other foot. So first you move the weight, so the foot will stay down here. And after the weight is here, center gravity here, you see mostly on the left foot. That's when you can be maybe in a foot roll in here so that maybe the heel is not on the floor, but it's foot rolling. And then you can change the position because right now this is impossible. I really would like to see some references in here because if you can do something like this, I definitely need to see it. So be careful with this kind of stuff because overall your animation is quite cool. I mean, the shot works overall, but you have these physics problems that make it less believable. Let's see what happens next. This step is a bit strange. I believe we only have a few days before delivery. So in here, I would just fix the silhouette problem at the beginning with the red dude. And then I would fix this step because it doesn't quite make sense. And I would fix the reaction of the blue guy. What I would really like to see is a bit more of an anticipation with the left arm. If the chest were a bit less straight, maybe if you were oriented this way, then you could lift the arm and start a better anticipation that is already building a line of action pointing towards the final hitting point somewhere over there. And the silhouette would be a bit clearer and you could, with the left arm, you could possibly protect yourself a bit better. You would want to keep the left arm pretty close to the body to protect yourself. So I think this would be a nicer pose. If you check this line of action of the arm, it would build a nice direction towards the blue guy. Probably again, you want to see both eyes of this guy a little bit. Maybe you want to exaggerate the rotation so that the shoulder is somewhere over here. So a bit more of the rotation of the chest will help maybe. And you definitely want to build a line of action with the head of the blue guy going forward. So blue guy will be oof. He will be pushed backward with the hip swinging forward. And this will be probably the pose that you want to have there. That means that the blue man arms will be a lot more extended because it's being pushed to the back. And that will give you, if we check, if I make two poses there, I should have used red, sorry. I'm in a rush. There you go. That would have given you a stronger feeling of hit there. What I don't believe in here is the hit against the ropes. If I could have seen some reactions from the head, I maybe believe into it, believe it. I don't know if you're going to simulate the ropes or animate them. Right now, it feels like he's magically getting back on his feet, but there's no physics behind it. So I think you might get away with it. And I repeat, you might. You might get away with it if the head were a lot more to the front in there, the arms were a lot more extended forward. And after you hit the back in here, you stay there with the body a couple of frames maybe and the head swings to the back and the arms maybe can start going down so you see you hit with the top of the back here and then the head swings at the same time the spine would jump forward i guess now i'm exaggerating this a little bit or the head is a bit too much to the back and then the spine would go forward the head would still be at the back and finally with the spine forward there, that's when the head will be probably swinging down. And you really want to have the arms a bit further down. This is like a, a Mortal Kombat fatality trying to happen there. So there you go. You see that if you check my drawing, now the guy is limp. Now he's there waiting for it. And the red guy in here, the pose is a bit strange. It feels to me that this leg is fully extended. It doesn't look very believable. The, the body seems to be rotated almost 90 degrees compared to the leg. So it seems to me that this whole pose is a bit not under control. And the silhouette of the hook you're... I don't know if that's a hook. I don't know anything about boxing. But the silhouette of the hook once more is hidden by the blue character. I mean, we know what goes on, but we would know it much better if we could see the loading of the hook a bit better. I guess this would be the right shoulder and the right arm trying to protect, I guess, to keep the guard. I wonder what would happen if we could see the fist in here, the right fist in here and the head somewhere over here. You would have a clearer silhouette there if we saw a little bit more of the knee in there. The pose would look a lot better. It looks a bit not under control right now. Something like this 
would introduce this element and then once you get to this pose I would probably show the elbow either up there I don't know exactly how a hook is done if it goes from the bottom I mean I don't know how what's the move in here because I'm not sure it, it feels like the fist is traveling this way I would need to see some reference but if it's a hit going down maybe you want to see the fist and top part of the arm in there if it's a hook coming up and maybe you want to see again the lower part of the arm but you gotta decide that because right now I don't understand if this is a fist coming from above or from underneath it feels like it's coming from above in which case I would expect maybe to see the top part of the arm being visible and if you think of it if the right arm were a bit more extended now you will start to build a nice nice interesting line of action between the two arms the whole action would feel a lot more athletic if you think of it so there you go something like this I think you always want to have your eyes planted on the enemy there you don't want to really lose sight if you're a pro I would imagine you wouldn't want to lose sight so you want to keep the visual there even as you rotate right now you're rotating one to one chest and head I would imagine instead as you rotate to keep staring at the dude you need to check that this guy is done for or if he's going to count back at you and show me some elbow there and in here without knowing anything about boxing I don't really know how the pose would be in here but I imagine something like this would look fairly nasty and strong I don't know where to put the knee there I guess this could work yeah I think that would make a lot of sense in terms of action and just by changing these three poses I think you would create a lot of a stronger action that you have now a lot more balanced and pro like see that the key in here is a clean silhouette with that face that's a key because this means you will have a nice arc continuous going there and that will sell the animation it will look a lot a lot cooler if you think of it a lot stronger also as a hit I'm not sure of this straight pose in there I don't think that that is very functional and also I wouldn't look in that direction unless what you're trying to do is a don't care badass attitude maybe you could try and keep instead the face a bit more towards the enemy there maybe Maybe counter twist the pelvis so that it's a bit more centered so that the pose will be twisty in the spine let's see yeah I think that probably could work a lot better but keep a little bit of a bend in the arm down here and if you think of it that means that as you will rotate back your face will already be always focusing on the dude down there which will make the turning a lot cooler now your turn seems to be following the head seems to be following one to one the chest which feels very very stiff you see how stiff that is now I don't know if I mean this is difficult to say without knowing the style of your short movie if your short movie wants them to be to behave like puppet and to be stiff then maybe okay then maybe the head could rotate with the body but you tell me I'm not quite sure in here because in here I don't feel like the head is rotating with the body I feel the head is trying to stabilize you gotta decide what's the style in there it's possibly a super cool piece of animation it's just the poses are a bit stiff and in general the silhouettes need to be differentiated a bit better the timing is quite fun and I would really like to see this thing refined a little bit more in terms of posing I think you see how stiff this rotation is at the end so if you could dis differentiate like I'm doing here with the see the shoulder leading the action back and the head always being sort of focused down there that would look a lot cooler a lot more like a pro you know for the blue guy instead what I would do is as the guy is winging here this is an excellent pose for a fatality you want him to raise like you are doing there this pose it's been hit right in the face so his face should be <laughs> rotated 90 degrees in our direction the poor guy is eyes should be somewhere over here somewhere facing us sorry I cannot find a color that works they're so these colors are so strong I will try with black first we should be seeing the nose in here and then bam it's hit and it's, ro it's rotating swinging this way I mean can't possibly keep the head straight if you're hit with this amount of strength and maybe the chest could start rotating on the way down so that it could start going to the back a little bit so at the beginning it's still I really would like to have a scene tick in here because I'm drawing with a very old 50 years worth of Wacom which is a serve this time look at this thing I mean where else can you find this thing if not in a museum I'm using it until it breaks or until the drivers stop working whichever comes first probably the drivers there you go see that now the hit is happening at face level like it should be so the face will be already rotated in here and the falling down is quite okay I feel like you're mysteriously slowing down towards the bottom I would expect the legs to be 
a bit higher here and even here sorry for the drawing again a tiny bit higher so that you fall down and then maybe three frames down your body should still be down one of them anyway would hit the floor you see this would be the sequence probably and then maybe you can go up a little bit like you're doing here and the legs would stay probably down I guess I'm not sure and then they will come back up like you're doing here and fall down that that's okay I guess in here it feels like as you're hit this arm is rotating with the chest that is a bit strange because if you're hit with this amount of strength the arm should probably be still pointing somewhere to the right hand side of the dude because it doesn't make sense that the arm rotates one to one especially if it's limp it doesn't make sense so they rotates one to one then maybe the elbow even higher there to the body right hand side of the guy so you see this would delay the arm quite a lot and as you hit the floor you want the head to react and bend down and then come back up because right now you hit the floor and the head doesn't care about hitting the floor and bouncing so you want a bit of bounce there and it's a nice thing that the arms are the last thing to fall down but they fall down together here you see that they come up together and then they decide together to go down and they tween get some offset going with these two arms and i think the shot has so much potential and if you added this kind of stuff it would look super cool so i hope you finish it in time and i hope you improve it because there's something good in there and i hope you have found this video useful if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell and have fun bye